Hello. I want to talk to you a little bit about Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, which is a day in the Jewish calendar that a lot happens. On the 9th of Av, this is basically the greatest day of sadness, the greatest day of destruction in the history of the Jewish people. And it is a day that we mourn. It is a day that we fast. It is a day that we feel our loss. It's a day that we feel our lack and understand how far we need to go in order to become who we need to be as individuals, as a nation, as a worldwide. It's a very, very, very hard day. And I've been debating about making a video about Tisha B'Av for a while because I still have not reconciled my feelings about it. And I realized recently that that's actually, for me at least, that's the way it's supposed to be, is that we are not supposed to have reconciled feelings about the 9th of Av, at least as a day of mourning. We're not supposed to feel, okay, it's coming, I'm, this is my day for mourning, this is my day for being sad and feeling the lack of the world and everything like that. No, that's not how we're supposed to feel because this day is not supposed to be this way. It's not supposed to be happening. This, I mean, this is the day that we should feel, I don't want to use the word angry, but that we should feel that, oh my goodness, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. We are not where we're supposed to be. The world is not where it's supposed to be. And we can be so much more. I find myself on every Tisha B'Av that I just have this struggle. Like, I feel like everyone around me is, I don't want to say celebrating, but they're, they're doing the thing that they're supposed to be doing. They're crying, they're mourning and everything. And I'm just like, I'm it's stuck in this like little box of like, no, this should not be happening. We shouldn't be doing this. It's like This is really, really not where we should be as people. We could be so much more. And there's quite a few re reasons why I feel this way. Um, and one of them is because the 9th of Av is the day that I was born. It's my birthday. And I grew up as a non-observant Jew, so I wasn't aware necessarily of the significance of the day I was born, but when I became more observant, um, I became very aware of the significance because on Tisha B'Av we fast, which means I'm never going to have birthday cake on my, birth on, on my Hebrew birthday. And we also don't give each other um, nice greetings or as we would say, we would say brachot. We don't bless each other. As, a, as um, in in Jewish thought, when I say shalom to someone, which means hello, I'm also giving them a blessing. I'm giving them a blessing of peace and of harmony. So we don't say hello on Tisha B'Av. We don't give blessings to each other. And it's a Jewish thought that like on someone's birthday, you have an extra spiritual connection. So it's a day that you're supposed to be giving blessings. You're supposed to be giving blessings on your birthday. And yet, I, who like, I love giving brachot to people. Anyone that was at my wedding knows that like, it was just the most wonderful thing to be able to really see people and to really feel that connection, to feel myself become that vessel that I could give people these beautiful brachot. And to not be able to do that on my birthday is, it's hard. It's like, Tisha B'Av, it sucks. It's like a really, really awful day. Um, and I don't enjoy it. It's funny, like, I, I'm the person that really enjoys working on myself. Yom Kippur is my favorite holiday of the year. And, every, like, you know, a lot of people say, well, isn't that kind of like Tisha B'Av? You're fasting, you're, you know, you're really, you're working on yourself, everything. But, like, it's opposite because on, on Yom Kippur, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yom Kippur is a day that's supposed to happen. And Tisha B'Av, the way it is right now, is not the way it should be. It's said that when Mashiach comes, when the world is finally where it needs to be, that Tisha B'Av is going to turn into a holiday for us. And God willing, on that holiday, I'll be able to actually celebrate my birthday properly. This year is a bit of a funny year because Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, comes on Shabbat. And Shabbat proceeds, Shabbat is more important than any Jewish holiday except for Yom Kippur. Um, if Shabbat lies on a fast day or a holiday or anything like that, the, the laws of Shabbat are more important than the laws of that holiday. We, we basically we do Shabbat first. So on Shabbat, it's a mitzvah to eat. On Shabbat, it's a mitzvah to be joyous. So on this Shabbat, 
which is the 9th of Av, we're not fasting. So finally, this actually happened, I think it was three years ago as well on the Jewish calendar, which was, no, maybe it was four years ago. Um, either way, this, this has happened before. Um, but finally, on my birthday this year, I can eat and I can give brachot. So this video is, first of all, to let you all know that I am going to be, I'm not allowed to dive in specifically for people that are not in front of me, um, because you can't do that on Shabbat. Um, but I, I am, I'm going to be giving brachot to the whole world. I'm going to be thinking of all of you. And to those of you that are in Baltimore, please, please come over to my house between 2.30 and 4 in the afternoon, and I am going to give you the best bracha that I can muster. If you see me on the streets, if you see me on shul, and I'm going to be in a little weird high state because I'm going to be giving bracha to all of you. Anyone that comes across my path, I'm so excited for this. I just, when this happened, I think it was, again, it was three years ago when this happened, I just, I remember going to Shabbat tables and just, and I was in Jerusalem and there would be these huge Shabbat tables and I would just give bracha to every single person around the table, even if it's people that I didn't know. And I would make it individual and different for every single person. I don't remember what I said, but people have told me that whatever I said was still um, in their hearts and they still remembered it. So I'm so excited for this. Um, and I hope really that God willing, we understand this Tisha B'Av, that we really, really feel that discord within us, that this is not what we're supposed to be. This is not supposed to be a day of mourning. This is supposed to be God willing soon, maybe God willing this year. This is supposed to be a day of celebration. A, you know, when we finally reconcile the disparate parts of ourselves, when we finally reconcile the separate um, paradoxical parts of the world, when we finally come together as we should, this is going to be the most joyous holiday and may we see that soon. So wishing you all on Shabbat a beautiful, joyous Shabbat, even though it is to Shabbat. And if we do end up having to Shabbat and Mashiach doesn't come after Shabbat, and if we do end up having to Shabbat on the 10th of Av after May we really, really understand that this should not be happening. May we feel that struggle. May we feel that, that wrongness, that the world is not where it's supposed to be yet, and that we really need to do our parts to bring it to where it can be. And every single one of you is so important in doing that. I'll just make one note, um, is that in Rapunzel world, in music world, in my whole life, is about exploring the depth of joy. It's about being happy, being like having serenity, surrendering yourself to the absolute joy and beauty of the world. And I know that joy is one of the deepest, most profound feelings that one can feel in this world. It, joy is so deep. It is so, it, ex, it expands, like it, it fills you up. And when you really feel true joy, like it's, it's wonderful and it's amazing. So that's what my life mission is, is about helping people choose that joy and choose that happiness and understand that really deep, all-encompassing happiness. And real happiness is doing what your creator wants you to be doing in the moment that you are in right now. Real joy is facing whatever you have to face, whether it's tragic, whether it's happy, whether it's anything like that. Real joy is really feeling what you need to be doing in that moment. So on Tisha B'Av, when in the way that we are having it lately, I want us to really get in touch with the wrongness. The wrongness is that this day is not supposed to be a day of mourning. This is not supposed to be a day of sadness. This is supposed to be a day of joy. And God willing, one day if we really feel that discord, if we really feel that wrongness, then one day we'll be able to reconcile those parts of ourselves and really feel that connection on this day and it will be a hug and it will be a holiday. Wishing you all the best. I'm going to be davening. Um, I, again, as I said, I can't daven for specific things for sp specific people that are not in front of me on Shabbat, but I'm going to be giving brachot to the whole world and anyone that comes across my path on Shabbat, you're going to be getting a bracha. Okay? Bye.